Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild So now I'm here in Blackpool, I'm on the promenade and it's pretty dark I was about to say it's the evening but it's not um, it's actually the afternoon, it's only about a quarter to six but it feels like a lot later anyway check this out I can't believe that <laughs> I was trying to film that this tram and another tram got in the way can you believe it anyway there goes the Great Western train tram and just look at this now oh it's so busy Saturday the 13th and it's absolutely crazy I was out here this morning first thing filming the ice rink video and it was absolutely dead and now look at it amazing yeah so what I thought I'd do in this video is take you on a little bit of a tour around the promenade here and show you what's going on there's a lot of people around and uh, through the town centre as well because there's quite a lot going on lately and uh, there's something going up in St John Square where we'll end the video uh, something big is going up in St John Square so we'll find out what that is at the end of the video here's a great look at the north pier chubby brown's on and the first thing I want to show you actually it's probably not ideal at night because you might not be able to see them but down here Talbot Road this is Talbot Square now they've actually put up the overhead lines you know for the trams that lead up to the new tram station which they knocked the Wilco store and car park down for let's go and have a little look shall we and get past all this traffic the eliminations traffic of course <laughs> nice view of the tower down market street there we'll be having a look down there later on so here's a little look around talbot square back towards the north pier there this is the counting house and if you look up here i don't know if you can see them but they've got the overhead wires and they go all the way up to the tram station so it looks like they've sorted out all the overhead wires i'm going to take a look down here at queen street it's always a noisy motorbike isn't there like I say it's pretty early yet. it's not even six o'clock but it feels like it's a lot later anyway let's have a look down here shall we this is called the Strand and it takes us through to Queen Street which is a pretty busy pub and club area so there's loads I can't believe how many people there are. you know I was out this morning first thing and it was absolutely dead I can't believe how busy it is now getting ready for Christmas there's a lot of Christmas stuff going up I'll show you that later in the video so now coming out onto Queen Street which I've featured quite a lot on the video so I've not done it for a while so I thought I'd come and have a little look around quite rowdy already and even the uh, the soul suite down here they're sitting outside it's not a bad night you know look at this there's people sitting outside yeah in the middle of November outside the soul suite I'll tell you what this tram looks pretty full <laughs> wow there's a metropole hotel there and just look at all this traffic here it's standing at the moment for the illuminations and now looking back up Queen Street again here I'm going to head back down this way again back past the North Pier and let's see what's going on over here shall we You know I've never really took any notice of these things here but I've just noticed they're playing like videos from the old days of so World War One memorials and they're showing little videos from the olden days it's just next to the uh, the cenotaph here so there you go chubby brown's on 
at the North Pier. I heard it got cancelled, one of his gigs got cancelled recently. You know, if you don't like him, you don't need to go and see him. That's the way I look at it. There we go. Shenanigans sounds banging. Let's go and have a close look at shenanigans, shall we? It's always mad over there. Well, we're having fun in here, all right. I can't film for too long because I play music and it might cause copyright issues. Anyway, next door to uh, Shenanigans is Eden 2. It's actually upstairs, but there's the entrance there. Eden 2, the lap dancing bar. Anyway, let's have a look down here, shall we? This little alleyway here is it's called West Street. So there's a lot of noise down here. There's a mitre, that's the smallest pub. See the sitting outside here as well, wow. Good one November. Hey? Mental, isn't it? Mental. Coming out of Market Street now. So this is Market Street. Brannigan's <laughs> there on the left. Weatherspoon's on the right there, and Yates is just up there on the other side of Weatherspoon's. Man it! This is Revolution. people outside there. We've got the uh, bowl in here. Fish and chips. The frying squad. I have to try this place for now. Well, I'll tell you what, it's busy in there. Okay, so this is looking down Bank Hay Street, the back of the town, and as you can see, they've got the Christmas decorations up. Yeah, we'll be having a look at some of those up here. I'm going to head up this way, Church Street, because they've got some Christmas decorations up this way, and we'll we'll end up at St John's Square, where I believe they're going to be putting something big up. Oh, look at this queue outside, Pizza Hut. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Right? I think Pizza Hut is very expensive. I don't think I'd want to queue outside that place. I think I'd go somewhere else. I'll tell you what, it's really, really lively in town tonight. I can't believe it. After this morning. Yeah, there's so many people around. As you can see, they've got the Christmas decorations up here. We're just coming up to the Grand Theatre. And like I say, it's only around about six o'clock and it feels a lot later, you know, because it's getting dark a lot earlier. This is Corporation Street. It's where a lot of the buses stop, going back towards Talbot Square. Yeah, look at all these people around here, it's mad. The Grand Theatre isn't open tonight, apparently, by the look of it. That's where we first met Jake. Nando's. Didn't we, Jake? Yes, as you can see, Church Street is decked out in Christmas lights. Well, you can tell it's early because Greg's is still open. Yeah. I think I'd rather go in Greg's and have a couple of sausage rolls and queue up outside Pizza Hut. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I'd do. Just going past a Chinese buffet. This is another quite popular restaurant. They've also got Mr. Bad Rice as well. 
a bit cheaper there than Mr. Bath Rice, but it doesn't have the best of reputation for Chinese buffet. On the other side of the Chinese buffet is this place here called The Hive, which is very good. Coffee shop, and they also have art displays in there by local artists and photographers, including myself. We're heading off to St. John Square now. This is the Vintro Lounge on the left hand side. I've showed it quite a few times in my videos. Looks like a really nice place, it's very busy. I'll tell you what, it's really busy up here. They're setting up for Christmas. The Winter Gardens is open, there's something on here. I don't know what it is, there's a few people with suits and ties on, so there's something definitely going on here. Yeah, there's a bit of a posh do going on there, all right. Yeah, so there's a Friends do going on, Comedy Central Friends do. I'm not sure if that's why people are dressed up, but uh, yeah. Um, there's that going on, there's probably something else going on as well, but yeah, it's all happening here at the Winter Garden, it's in Blackpool. Anyway, before we head into the square proper, I just want to have a little look down here. Let's take a bit of a diversion, but yeah, I've got something to show you at the end, which we're going to be putting something big up in St John's Square, we'll find out shortly. West Coast Rock Cafe. This is a very popular place. Have a quick look down Burley Street. There's a lot of people here. I think they're waiting for a bus. I think the buses have been rerouted. There's Burley Street and brilliance. I think it gets overlooked this, you know, this display here, this light display with the music. A lot of people have said that uh, it was probably put in the wrong place. We've done a lot of work on Burley Street, you know, to make it all pedestrian friendly and for people to eat outside. There you go. And just over the road from there is Abingdon Street Market. I don't think it's open yet. Will be sometime. There's a lot of lads here dressed in like peak golfing caps. I think they must be on a stag do or something. Just heading towards Talbot Road. I just want to show you quickly Talbot Road just to, before we head back to uh, St John's Square and check out this. Uh, oops, someone getting dressed to impress here. This shop here looks like they just popped into that shop to get a suit to go to that show or whatever it is. <laughs> so this is Talbot Square. I'm just going to have a quick look up here at Mark Kelly's. See what it's like up there. You might be able to tell they've got the overhead wires up here. Not the best time to show you. We'll have to come during the day. Go past the Victoria. This is a bit of a mad pub. I won't hang around there because the music might uh, flag up. As you can see, it's this busy. Pretty much everywhere. Look at the traffic here. Traffic backing all the way up. All right, let's have a little look outside Mark Kelly, shall we? There's always someone sat down. It's a woman this time. Sat down by that phone box there, begging. Yeah, you don't have to get some characters around here, all right, Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis North. This is where they all smoke here. They all sit there and smoke. I'll tell you what, it's busy here. Funny Girls is opening up. Can you see Funny Girls over there? That's just uh, opening up now. Places to eat here, takeaways. Look at this traffic. Anyway, I'm going to head back this way because I'm, I want to go down straight down this road here, Topping Street, back towards 
St John's Square and I'll talk about this huge thing they're going to be putting up there over the winter. Let's go and check it out shall we? It's absolutely crazy around here. Oh my goodness, this traffic. Yeah, so I'm just going to head down this road here, Topping Street. And we'll have a little look down here and then we'll be able to cut through to St John's Square to finish the video. Look at all the traffic, oh it's absolutely mental. Who'd be on the road at this time? Okay, there's the Washington. The Washington pub there and I've got to show you this over the road. Just check this out. This is the Yorkshire Fisheries on Topping Street, said to be the best chippy in Blackpool allegedly and look at the queue outside wow well rate right my takeaway went there really this year and he had his uh, chips on the beach yeah and just over there is the bootleg club which used to be the 007 club when Brian London owned it yeah that club there I got that off old Blackpool biker because I saw it on his video the other day <laughs> I wonder if he's watching What do you think of these benches here? They're posh aren't they? Posh benches because Topping Street was obviously tarted up this year. New paving area and the road layout and all the shops have been all done up as well so yeah it's got a real new lease of life. We're just coming up to Churchill's here. I'll be turning right down this alley towards St John Square. Champ Sports Bar just over the road, part of Mark Kelly's. Now then, so I'm now just heading down this little alleyway here towards the back of Avenue Street Market and St John Square. And let's have a look what's going on, shall we? They're setting up for Christmas and they're also looking to put something pretty big in here. Check out these trees here with the lights on. I think they've always got lights on these trees, so I'm not sure if it's just for Christmas. So this is Cedar Square. Cedar Square. And they have a few restaurants here. In Italian there, I think. Right, okay, so we're now coming into St John's Square and check this out here they've got this massive fuel tank here and a generator next to it now what do you think they said they're going to put something big here a big ride now I think it's going to be a big wheel and I think it's going to go here yeah I believe a big wheel I might be wrong let me know in the comments what you think it might be but I think that the, there's going to be a big wheel here and they're probably going to have a load of snow fake snow in this area here for Christmas outside the church I'll just show you these uh, Christmas huts as well look they've got the Christmas huts over here they've got two over there and we've also got the Christmas tree as well which is not lit yet I'll just show you that so there's the Christmas tree do you remember last year the Christmas tree blew over I think it blew over after Christmas they did put it back up again but uh, yeah I'm just showing you these these huts here which will be uh, probably selling food I think I think they're all going to be selling food and we'll probably have local locals or whatever selling the food from those places so there you go that's what's happening here in St John's Square Blackpool so there you go that's what's happening in Blackpool today Saturday the 13th absolutely crazy isn't it busy as anything can't believe it after this morning um, yeah the Christmas decorations and obviously this big thing that they're going to be putting up here in St John's Square anyway I hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one